What's good guys, Polly Popo here, and I'm glad to be back on the channel with you guys. Uh, I'm sure you're sick of hearing about the 2.10 update, um, but it does have some really cool effects and everything that I didn't go over in the last video. But really quick here, I just want to show you guys how to update the firmware. I don't use the software, okay? I use firmware, which is just standalone mode. So that's what I want to run you through here. And I'll try to make this really, really quick, all right? Cool guys, so right off the bat here, you just want to go to akaipro.com just regular old akaipro.com and then log into your account and once you log into your account it'll take you to your product registrations go to your product registrations we are going to do the MPCX anybody wants the software codes right here I don't I'm not using it it's whatever um, I'm strictly standalone on, on my MPC, so we're going to go ahead and do the firmware. And what's really, really dope, just want to make sure you guys can see this real quick. Alright. Um, I did have this up on OBS for you guys and all that, but I just really want to do this. So I'm not going to geek out or anything. I'm just going to put this up and do it. All I'm going to do for the firmware not the software just the firmware so I can go and stay it alone is get the MP MPC 2.10 firmware update I click that arrow and this says firmware Windows firmware Mac I use Windows so I click the Windows and then I want the MPC 2.10 synth content again under firmware that's all I'm gonna download from here and I'm just waiting for uh, on the bottom of my screen you can see hopefully I'll move this on the bottom of my screen you can see that the uh, the files are down here Get my coffee cup out of your way And so the update exe, this is right here. Let's open it. It says update MPC. Of course, you can't do anything, but that's ready. I'll show you how to update your MPC right now. All we're going to do is fire on the MPC. And then I'm going to grab that blue USB cable that came with it. You know, that this blue USB cable that came with your MPC. And all we're going to do is plug it into your computer. See the blue cable right there? Cool, so we got our blue USB plugged into our computer. We're going to take this USB and plug it right into the MPC. I'm very excited about doing this to the MPC. Okay, so now it's on an empty project and Cool, so now what we got to do is uh, hit menu and then there's a gear icon up here right now it's running 2.9.1 see if you guys can see that it's running 2.9 or 2.9.0 and right now it says legal info and preferences so you, what I have to do I have to hit hold down the shift button right here and you'll see the screen change to update you gotta hold down shift though you, now you got this you hit update it says are you sure you want to restart your MPC in update mode you say yes it's gonna restart your MPC as soon as it restarts your MPC it says update mode okay and then you go back to your screen where it says update MPC. Remember whenever this popped up, I go ahead and hit update MPC. Transferring update. 
and it says one, two, three. And as soon as this gets done, um, we'll do the uh, the synth. But right now, it just says update mode still on the MPC screen, and this is counting. I just kind of wanted to show you what the screen was doing. Programming update. And it's just taking its own sweet time, so um, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll fast forward through this. I kind of want to do it like a live time, this way you guys can see. Okay, it didn't really take that long. And the MPC screen, where are we? It just went right back to that. So on the TV, I'm just gonna hit done, and then we'll go back to the MPC screen. Again, I thought it would be really important to do everything together on this, so I click done, that goes away. And now I'm gonna cut, oh, I didn't touch anything on my MPC screen. And I'll show you what it says here real quick here. Without me touching anything, it went out of that update screen, and now it says this. New plugin instruments are available. To use them, you must first download and install their content files. Okay, that's exactly what we're going to do right now, okay? Alright, so real quick before we do that, I want to show you that we are running this no show again. Go to empty project. We're going to hit um, menu this gear icon again and now it shows that we're running 2.10 guys if you need help with that again go back and watch because we did not skip a step okay um, just go back and watch that if not all we did was we plugged in the USB to the MPC went to the Akai site downloaded the uh, firmware update it started downloading I showed you where the file was in the beginning of the video so let's move on and get these synths in here so I can get as far away from this computer as possible all right so the first one we did was this one here MPC 2.1 or 2.10.0 update exe we're done with that now we're gonna go MPC 2.10 synth co zip we're gonna hit this little top arrow hit open or click it so it opens however you can get that folder to pop up like that on your screen so this is what pops up MPC synth content and what the directions say is to drag and drop this onto or on top I'm going to show you this real quick. Hang on, bro. I'm making a video about it right now. Uh, let's get... I know there's release notes. Anyway, the release notes look like... Where are they? Hmm. Anyway, you take this right here. This readme PDF. It says right here, this folder contains your synth content. Hang on. Alright guys, sorry about that. So it says it contains all your synth content for your MPC. You get the Hype Selenium, uh, Mellotron, and Wave Out. And you also get a bunch of different plugins. It says we recommend that you install a SATA drive in a drive bay of your standalone MPC or force and then copy the sense folder into this drive. Onto this drive. MPC1 does not have a SATA drive bay. For MPC1 we recommend you install the folder onto an SD card. Okay, so on my MPC uh, live I had to install it, it said on top of a folder, so I don't know if that matters or not, 
So all I'm going to do is, um, I have my MPC, I'm going to put my MPC in controller mode. Let me show you how to do that. Alright, so all we're going to do is open up that uh, folder right here. I'm sorry if I got mixed up here. Uh, MPC synth content. We're going to go ahead and double click this. And it says to drag the synths folder onto your drive. So I hold it and I'm just going to take it and literally I'm holding it still here. Hang on. I'm just going to drag it right on top. You know, it says put on top. Uh, I'm just going to put it right here. This way it's in there. And it's saying 22, da da da, blah blah blee. It's copying it to my internal MPC drive. I believe. Just kind of doing this with you guys here. And it should make a synth folder inside. And this is actually going to be in my solid state drive that's in my MPC. Um, I'll show you. It's my OPPO drive. Okay, cool. We know that it's in there. Let's go and check it out and see if it worked because we copied it over. Keep in mind, the whole time we were doing this, remember I didn't have the software up and running, so we just did this, the screen was like this the whole time. La, 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 la. Yes, I'm going to take the blue cable out of the back. No more blue cable. No more computer. I'm going to hit empty project. Hit my plugs. Double tap and hope to uh oh that I got some. Look at that. There it is. But I think the most important part was definitely whenever uh, we dragged that synth folder over. It, on my MPC Live 2, it said the drag input on top. So that's why I did it that way in my MPC X. And I didn't have any problem with it. I just dragged it right on top of all the other files. And yeah, when I look at it now, it's in alphabetical order, but that's the way they wanted you to do it. Which leads me to think, is there, what's stopping us from being able to drag other things and put them on top? Like, you know, other plugins that have skins and other stuff. You just read the folder and it's like, how did they get that plugin in there with just a folder? How did they get all those folders in there? I've done sound packs and that's dope. But now can I just wipe out those sounds and put my sounds in there? And will they pop up on this? Will they pop? There's so many things that I want to go over and kind of figure out. And uh, yeah, this is one thing that I wanted to share today. Um, that I was really excited about it yesterday. I really hope that this helped you guys out. Um, and as far as going over the review on the answer, I'm going to do a whole nother video covering the Q links and why. I'll do a versus MPC Live 2 MPC X video with 2.10 or what, whatnot. But right on, guys. I hope this helped out. I'm Polly Popo. I try to make it as short as sweet as possible. And uh, yeah, let me know if this helped out, okay?